the Paolo Nespoli's Magistra mission is his second mission to the International Space Station and his first mission uh, as a long duration mission. Magistra in terms of uh, a teaching or, or a learning uh, possibility. Three specific goals uh, are important for the mission and they are in the sector, in the area of technology, goals in the area of uh, science and goals in the area of education. His first mission, which, uh, which was a short duration mission, uh, allowed him to bring to the space station the Node 2 which after that allowed the International Space Station to become really international. What is important to underline is that Paolo in the second mission uh, will perform a lot of scientific experiments in the European Columbus Lab. We spend 50% of our time to carry out experiments, to be other test subjects, uh, or to be uh, to perform experiments uh, in order to to learn things and give data to our scientists on Earth. During this uh, six months, uh, we will. Uh, uh, be visited in space by a multitude of uh, vehicles. Uh, some of those are resupply vehicles, like the Russian uh, Progress uh, vehicle, but there will be also resupply vehicles from uh, Europe, ATV, from Japan, HTV. Uh, there will be even a commercial vehicle that, while we're not docked to the station, will come by close and they will, we will do a test uh, to make sure that uh, the vehicle is ready for uh, docking to the station. Uh, last but not least, there will be even a space shuttle mission that uh, will, uh, will be up there while we'll be, we'll be in space. Uh, we will do a lot of uh, educational uh, activities. Um, in particular, we will do two uh, special ones. Uh, the first one is uh, what we call EPO greenhouse in space, where we'll actually take a plant and, growing, and grow it in uh, space. We will uh, grow this plant while on the ground several schools in Europe will grow exactly the same plant. Another activity that we'll do will be Mission X. Uh, Mission X uh, is essentially an education uh, project where we use uh, uh, the activity we do normally as uh, astronauts and we, we make uh, young people try to replicate this activity. They have to do mainly with uh, being uh, physically fit, uh, eat uh, in a proper way. So it's, it's this fact of using of, of emulating an astronaut or how an astronaut prepares itself from a physical point of view to go in space and do it every day. The beginning of 2011 will underline the start of a new era for the International Space Station. And we are really proud as the European Space Agency to have a European astronaut on board starting from the beginning of next year reason being that we are really becoming a strong, reliable partner uh, for the future of the International Space Station. The ISS will allow us to test our ability to carry humankind to other planets, to challenge our resistance to hostile conditions, and to guarantee our long-lasting future in space. <laughs>